the starting lineups as the tip off goes through. For Cardiff Met, we are starting with Mark Morale, Dan Flaherty, Saul Minty Walker, Billy Smallwood, and Bradley Abrahams. And for Bath, it's Carlos Becker, Martin Moreno, Aidan O'Flaherty, Connor Rapaki, and Arno Ayerby as that huge bucket goes in for the archers from three. And that's exactly what coach James Dorr would have been looking for. Dan Flaherty straight out the traps. Three points on the board for the archers. Here's Moreno spinning in the lane. Just not enough on that lay. Here comes Smallwood. The archers going small today. Two guards plus Flaherty at the three. Here is Bradley Abrahams driving the loose handle. Good hustle to drive to the floor. That's something that the archers really, really need to be wary of. Bar for a side that play with quick hands, and we've seen it there. They're aggressive, and they're forced to turn over. Bar pushing it forward quickly. The open lane, Bradley Abrahams needs to post up well here. The Bath put in two more. Lovely dime by Aidan O'Flaherty. Dan Flaherty looks absolutely locked in right now. Here's Saul Minty Walker, the captain, stepping up and driving through. Whistle called on the shot. He'll head to the line for two points at the charity stripe. And early on here, Dav, I think it is going to be the battle of the Flahertys, Dan O'Flaherty and Aidan of Dan Flaherty and Aidan O'Flaherty, the two stars of. Met and Bath. No relation, of course. None at all. One from Tokyo and one from Rhode Island. So I'm even T. Walker. The first free throw of the game is off. Gotta say, right in the atmosphere in here is nuts. Loads of Bath fans, loads of Archers fans. This is just what you want for the final thing of Varsity, right? Well, this is what Varsity is all about. Fans coming together from two separate universities. We've had sports all day long, and to get a reception like this for basketball, it's, it's great to see. Here's Ierby, overhitting the pass off the pressure from Dan Flaherty. It's going to be a sideline restart for the Archers. So Minty Walker is going to get the game going for us. Mark Morale has to track back into the backcourt. Over and back, because the ball went out over the halfway line. Mark Morale with a little bit of uh, lack of self-awareness there, right? right? Yeah, it's just a, a, an unnecessary turnover for Cardiff Met. But it's one they'll look to brush aside here and get a stop on defence. Here is Moreno. Beautiful dish in the pocket pass. The block from Mitty Walker. What a start to the game for him. Drive it the reverse. Oh, I wanted that to go in. I wanted that to go in. The court to court. Pace from Saw Minty Walker, the rejection straight to the other end, draws contact on the reverse layup, heads to the line. That's exactly what you want from a wing forward. And that ball danced along the rim, so close to an AM1. But like we said, a fantastic start to the game for Saw Minty Walker. The captain leading by example here at Archers Arena. And I like that. Dan Flad coming up to him, letting him know it's all right, giving him a dap in between the free throws, even though he's missed two out of three and the fourth goes the same way and Bath have a chance here to level the scoring driving into the lane. loose handle again Dan Flaherty got a bit over eager with that one Mark Morrell got that one just perfect behind the back driving layup no just out but so many Walker follows up that's two more for the Met how typical is that Dav fantastic play from Mark Morrell in and out, I'm lucky with the layup, but Sol Minty Walker there to clean, clean up for the Archers. Here are Bath, the energy of Sol Minty Walker, the only difference between these two, and a huge three-point drill from Aidan O'Flaherty. Abrahams caught, and here's Bath, and they draw foul. Contact against the arm, against Smallwood. They head to the line for two. Dav, this man is a problem. Aidan O'Flaherty, he's averaging 17 for the season, eight rebounds, three assists, 
four steals and a block. And he's doing everything in the early stages here for Bath. He looks dangerous, to say the least. And this Bath team is stacked with overseas players, particularly from Spain. But O'Flaherty coming from Tokyo, Japan. And having that experience from overseas is, is pivotal in these sort of games where they've played competitively in a variety of different leagues. And O'Flaherty goes one for two at the line. Bath recycle it though. They get the offensive rebound out of the free throw. Dan Flaherty on defense. Bradley Abrahams can't close out. And he gets away with that one. Dan Flaherty's got a line ahead of him. Gives it up to Saul Missy Walker. Mark Morales in acres of space. Drop of the shoulder. Smallwood for three. Drills it for the Met. Here come Bath. A turnover again. Saul Mitzi Walker throws it down. The Archers retake the lead. What a game this is set it out to be. And this place is bouncing. What a start to the game. A huge drive. Dan Flatty coming with a late challenge, but the referee calls a whistle against Bradley Abrahams on the ground. Bath will head to the line again. This time it's Connor Rapaki. I think that's a tough call there on Bradley Abrahams. I mean, you can see his confusion as he's appealing there to the referees. Nothing could be done. Here is Rapaki. The first goes down. The second is beautiful. 11 points to 10. Just the one between the Met and Bath. Dan Flaherty takes the ball up himself. Looking to create. Turns the corner. Hits Mark Morrell who's open from three. And he misses everything. Ryan, the Archers are going to need threes like that to go in. Yep. If they're going to win this one. And we've seen that shot from Smallwood go. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But for me, I think a really interesting match early up is Dan Flaherty against Connor Rapaki, who's the only fresher in this Bath side. It's going to be interesting to see how he goes up against a player with so much talent. He doesn't look particularly fresh for a fresher. Number 22. Here come Bath again. The screen taken out. Smallwood, the mid-range J, too strong. But once again, the offensive rebound for Bath gives them a second opportunity. Another offensive rebound for Bath. And of course, Dav, as you know, that is what wins basketball games. Picking up second chance points. And Bath are proving to be a menace offensively here in the early stages. Here is Carlos Becker. How will he fare at the charity stripe? First goes down. Got to hand it to Bath. It's a lot of pressure to get so many free throws early on. They've dealt with it very, very well indeed. Dan Flaherty waves off support from teammates. Already being doubled by Bath. Travel called against Bradley Abrahams. These are the kind of ill-disciplined mistakes that will cost the game for the Archers. Yeah, we've seen countless turnovers here in the first quarter. That's something that coach James Dorr will look to iron out as this game goes on. And Flaherty gets the rebound for the Met. Need more of the hustle crashing the boards if they're to hold this lead. The step back, the pull up from range is just too strong. Bouncing off the back iron. Here comes Aiden O'Flaherty. Pocket pass. And that one is no good for Bath. It seems like one of these teams is going to start pulling away if they can just make a run here. Bradley Abrahams looking around. Dishes to the corner. Solomon T. Walker picking up through the drive. Draws contact. Referees need a discussion to decide whether this is on the ground or a shooting foul. And Sol Minty Walker's done that really, really well in the early stages here. 
just drawing contact inside the paint. He's missed the first few, first few free throws early on, but there's only so many times he's going to miss. He's going to make them eventually, and he's going to make them count. Absolutely. Such a huge impact player so far in this game, and they have called the foul on the floor. It'll be a baseline restart. Mark Morrell to take it. Flaherty trying to get open. Second option is Sol Minty Walker. Has to restart his dribble. And Mark Morrell steps a foot out of bounds. And once again, it's another unnecessary turnover that's going to cost the Archers if they keep going with this throughout the game. Barfer, a great side. As we mentioned, they finished second in that Western tier in the Bucks League. Not to forget the first was the Archers. Here's Sol Minty Walker. Beautiful defense, had his hands up the whole time. But that was just special from Carlos Becker. The beautiful double clutch layup. Mark Morale needing help. Dribbling the ball up the floor there. Here's Mark Morale. Hand off to Flaherty. Driving into the paint. Finding Abrahams. Smallwood, I'm sorry. The pocket pass to Flaherty through traffic, through contact, through it all. And one down Flaherty will head to the line for the three-point play. That's what he does. I mean, we've seen it at Clash on the Court. We've seen it countless times. NBL or box. Dan Flaherty. Dan Flaherty has just forced Bars to take a time out there. Coach thinking that maybe he just needs to regroup his players. Give them another little talking to. Dan Flaherty there just didn't seem to want to stop. He took the contact, took the pressure and still finished. Really, really interesting. We mentioned that... You know, the Archers have gone small here against a really big and physical Bath side. But it seems to have paid off in the early stages. We mentioned a couple of needless turnovers. But they've done well so far and, it's, you know, it's a really, really tight game. It's impossible to talk about this men's team without discussing Starman Dan Flaherty, of course. Dan came from the US to the Archers for this season and has taken off like a rocket. Interestingly, his season high came against the Reading Rockets. And what's crucial to remember there is the Reading Rockets are a Division 1 team in the NBL for England with a Met in Division 3. And Dan Flaherty still put up 49 points in that game. He made sure that his name is known across all divisions in Britain. Ryan, how do the Met make sure that Dan Flaherty gets everything he needs to be at his best today? Well, it's all down to Dan Flaherty because when he gets going, he is unstoppable at this level. Nicknamed Dirt, he provides grit. And that's what Dan Flaherty is all about. Should also be mentioned, Dav, that he's dropped 40 points on every opponent this year, barring Cardiff Uni and Bath. He wasn't able to do it at Clash on the Court, but he'll be hoping to do something similar here against Bath. Well, he makes no mistake of the charity stripe. The three-point play is secured for the Archers. And they're still right in their own half court to get the ball away. So Minty Walker got it on the second attempt. Have the referees called an offensive foul there? They have indeed. Offensive foul against Minty Walker for a push in the back as he went in for the putback. Well, Dan Flaherty there. Real heart in your throat kind of moment. Oh, well, they've gone all the way for free throws here. I know there have been a lot of fouls for the Met, but I hadn't realized they were already in the bonus. A dangerous game to be giving away fouls so early, so consistently. Carlos Becker, not his first trip to the line. That's his first miss. Here comes Sol Minty Walker. We've got Flaherty to his right. Doesn't need him! Rocks the rim here at Archers Arena. And a stare down. Well, everything is heating up here at King Coyd Campus. The high press led by Flaherty and Sol Minty Walker, the two leaders in this team. Bath driving, taking the contact on head first. Carlos Becker missed the open three. 
What a pest the Barca players are becoming. Driving left hand and the putback by Kejineri for Bath. Just and the last thing that the Archers needed. And that's something the Archers are going to find really, really difficult to contain. Six foot eight. Having a, coming up wow. against a player that big can just provide so much on collecting rebounds and making easy buckets. Flaz, he misses the wide open three there. He'll be kicking himself for that one. Here come Bath with another three of their own. Unable to make that work. Neri unable to get the offensive rebound that time. Here's Mark Morale. Open. Faced with contact. He couldn't drive through. Smallwood. Beautiful little dribble. Pass to the corner and it couldn't quite get capitalized. And that's Archer's ball after good play on this right-hand wing. Really, really smart play there from Goddard. Another good. substitution here. Smallwood comes off and Sam Notis takes on for his first minutes of this game. Lovely give and go, Mark Morale. The underhand lane just thought that was going to go in and bounces out at the last second. Here come Bath again. Oh, the quick turn from Vasquez. And the corner shot from the left. Too strong, but again the offensive rebound, Ryan. Here's Vasquez turning, shooting, and rebounding again. And once more, that's four offensive rebounds in one progression from Casineri. And it's just almost unstoppable. Oh my God. And Connor Rapecki with his steal straight off the restart. Everything is slightly falling apart in terms of discipline for the archers. Is Mark Morale going through the screen. Dan Flat, he's giving out instructions. Here's Sam Notice waiting for the curl from Dan. So Minty Walker with a shot fake through the legs. The three ball is up. That doesn't hit. And Dav, Cardiff Met really, really needed to make a bucket there just to take the sting out of this, this momentum that Bar for establishing. Here is Rapaki. Too strong on the three. Lots of threes being taken by both teams so far. Not sure their efficiency really warrants it. Sam Notice. Oh, just about got his hand on that, but couldn't quite secure the steal. And there, Neri stepping out of bounds. And Bath were already controlling the offensive glass in the early stages. But since Neri's come on, he's made a real, real impact. And he's proven to be a lot to handle for the archers. Dan Flaherty calling for a horns play. Saw Minty Walker with a restart. Dan's going to take it up himself. Mark Morales taken to the bench. Justin Grant coming on in his place. Here is Dan on the ball again. Cutting it, moving. Beautifully moving. And Sormancy Walker will head to the line again. He's been so impactful here in this first quarter. And we spoke about Dan Flaherty early on and what he can provide. But it's about, you know, the, the rest of the players on this team who help pick up the points when times are hard. And the captain, Sol Minty Walker, has certainly done that in the early stages. Absolutely not just a role player, not just an energy man. He's a key part of everything that makes this artist team tick. At the line again. This time he nails the first one. And as we mentioned earlier, Dav, if he keeps drawing these fouls, he's going to start making the free throws at some point. He just needs to keep playing with that energy. This to bring the deficit to just one. And so he does. Another substitution. Saul Minty Walker now getting a well-deserved rest. Bradley Abraham's coming back on. Met down by just one. Just over two minutes remaining in this first quarter. And Bath put up another three and extend the lead to four. Cardiff need to have an answer here if they're going to take any momentum in. Oh, the dish at the last minute from Flaherty was just too weak. 
And that's two, st two steals early on for Goat Smith, who averages the most steals for Bath. There he is with the three, and he missed everything. It'll be Bath ball from the restart. Dan Flaherty getting a hand. Here is Martin Moreno, a strong left-handed drive straight through the paint and lays it up over contact. Dan Flaherty taking on Repiki. Wants to drive right, ends up having to pass out. Moving, travel called against Justin Grant. Discipline, again the issue for the Met in this first quarter. 21 seconds remaining, right? It's been the story in the first 10 minutes. Countless turnovers for the Archers, and Bath are ruthless. Like you said earlier, Dav, their efficiency hasn't been great, but they're playing with such an intensity here. Here's Martin Moreno. Shot clock turned off. This should be the last possession. An unbelievable circus shot. Keji Neri keeps it in, and that'll be the end of the first quarter here at Archers Arena. A fantastic game we've got on our hands here at the moment. Bath lead the Met by 24 to 18. Rai, what do you make of that first quarter and what we've seen so far? Well, as we've mentioned time and time again in this piece of commentary, the Archers just keep making unnecessary turnovers, and that's cost them. Other than that, they haven't played too bad, particularly in the first five minutes. There was a drop-off there where they just needed to take, as I said, that sting and that momentum away from Bath. They wasn't able to do it, but they just need to keep playing with energy, keep playing with intensity, and maybe just slow the tempo down a little bit. Yeah, well, Mark Morale maybe hasn't made the impact that you would expect of the star point guard so far. It's been all about Dan Flaherty and Sol Minty Walker. Especially Sol Minty Walker. I thought he had a really, really good first quarter there. As we mentioned, he played with energy. He played with grit. He drew fouls. He didn't make the free throws early on, but he made the last two there. If he continues to do that and he continues to pick his team up, he's, you know, he'll continue to do a great job and, and lift his team here as the game progresses. You've got to remember when you're considering this Met men's first team, they won the NBL Division Three just over a week ago, the Basketball Wales National League last Sunday, and now today they have an opportunity to take the trophy. That's not a real trophy, but we'll consider it a trophy of pride of winning against Bath in varsity. They've got the experience of these big games. How much is that gonna help them pull through in this one? Well, you also mentioned their, their form with Bucks as well. It was 7-3 and three for the season. And it was two victories against Bath, a 26-point victory at home. And, you know, that, that's going to play on both teams' minds going into this game. Bath are going to want to rectify those two games, whereas the Archers will look to make it a clean sweep. Dan Farty once again calling for a horns play out of this restart. Finding Smallwood. Abraham sets the screen. Very good defending by Bath forced to recycle of the archers and they give the ball away once again not what you'd want to start off the second quarter here Martin Moreno facing up with Justin Grant turns the corner good switch from Dan Flaherty but now that forces Justin Grant to mark the bigger man in Aiden O'Flaherty We mentioned his numbers earlier, Dav, and he is doing a bit of everything. Aiden O'Flaherty already showing his class in this game. Nails the on one, makes no mistakes. Now it's just up to whether or not Dan Flaherty can match his game. Here he is. Hits Grant. He finds Sam Notice. Abraham's atop the key. Sets the screen. Grant driving through traffic. And the layup just hasn't got enough on it for the Met. The Met need to organise themselves. Here is Moreno. Finding Goatsmith. Back out to Martin Moreno. Taking the tough contested shot. Damn Flaherty there. Showing his two-way capabilities. 
Smallwood stops and goes. Bradley Abrahams from three. Nails it from long range, the big man with the tray. And when you've got a big that can hit shots like that, that can prove to be dividend, especially down the stretch. Here's Martin Moreno. The rainbow shot misses the rim entirely. Dan Flaherty happy to take the pace off the ball. Let a couple of seconds tick down before he gets up the court. Here is Sam Notice. And the whistle falls. Justin Grant will head to the line for two shots at the charity strike. Justin Grant, this is his first time heading to the line today. The first misses. It seems like Bath are the better team when it comes to the free throw shooting, at least so far that seems to be the case, Ryan, right? So far, I mean, like we said with Minty Walker earlier, but Justin Grant makes that one, and that's going to be important for his confidence. He couldn't afford to miss two there. Dan Flaherty and Justin Grant with the pressure up stop. And the whistle call is a jump ball. Well, this time it'll stay with Bath. But possession will switch. The score currently 27-22 to the Bath Gladiators. A big outlet pass there. Here is Aiden O'Flaherty. Hitting Marty Moreno. Aiden O'Flaherty driving right past Sam Notice. Sam Flaherty with the contest. And it's just enough. But once again, Bath able to get the offensive rebound. And the second attempt misses as well. Sam Flaherty in transition. Able to release the ball. And another turnover for the Archers. And that's an easy two points for Bath. Here is Smallwood driving a beautiful pocket pass. But just telegraphed. Marty Moreno on the break. And James Dole is forced to call a timeout. Another error, another mistake. And it's that man again, Goat Smith who comes up with the steal and it's a transition point for Bath. Not the start James Dor would have wanted there, Dav. Absolutely not. Bath University could be taking a substantial lead into the halftime break if they carry on like this. It's down to the Archers to improve upon their form. An interesting point. I mean, Coach Antonio Wilburn, is, he's rotated to his side a bit more early on in the first quarter, now we're in the second. Whereas James Dorr seems to have, he's kept Dan Flaherty in the whole time. And as you mentioned, after playing on Sunday in the NBL, they're carrying tired legs. Absolutely. Well, if you've been watching this men's team throughout this year, one thing you'll know for certain is that Dan Flaherty starts taking it a little more serious as soon as his hair comes out of that bun. Words exchanged. We've seen Dan Flaherty and the bath number 17, Pip Bird. This could be something to watch. And this could also be something that riles Dan Flaherty up. Absolutely. Pip Bird not letting him leave his sight. Here is Smallwood. Abrams. Hits the small guard again. Beautiful play. Justin Grant hits Bradley Abrahams from three again, but no. The drums are going for the Met fans. They're trying to bring the Archers back into this one. Here come Bath again with Goat Smith. And the three is too strong. Dan Flaherty with a big rebound and a huge outlet pass that's dead on the money. Here's Billy Smallwood finding Grant. 
Sam Notice with a good catch there. Abraham's open again. Shoot is shoot. And this time it's a miss again. Here's Aiden O'Flaherty. Fakes the drive and kicks. And he stepped out of bounds to Goldsmith. Well, the archers there with a good couple of minutes, but once again, they're just not able to finish off the chances. They're generating good chances. It's just they can't finish them off right. What do they need to do differently? It's difficult to say. I mean, as we said, we don't know what level of fatigue they're already playing with, but not to make excuses, there's been a clear lack of efficiency and Bath have just played with a lot more movement, a lot more freedom. And, and it's counted. The archers are making mistakes. They're missing easy chances. And Bath are making them pay. Aidan O'Flaherty with a good give and go with Pip Bird. Comes back to O'Flaherty once more and he draws the foul on the shot. Bath will head to the line once again. Two points to the charity stripe. And it's possessions exactly like that. It feels as if it was at the other end. The archers would have gave away a turnover. But Bath just continue to play, continue to grind and it results in free throws. They all count. Oh, I like there. Sol Minty Walker pulling in his team to a huddle, trying to get everyone's head back on, trying to get everyone's head stuck into the game. It's good leadership from the captain. Aiden O'Flaherty at the line. The first is good. The yeah, and one completes the three-point play. Mark Morale really needs to step up for his team in this quarter. Calling instructions out. Dan Flaherty with a screen. Mark Morale happy to use it. Solomon Walker with some space. Pulls up from the mid-range. Just too flat on that one. There's good defense there from Pitt Bird. Here is Aiden O'Flaherty taking the contact on head first. The three from Bath. The offensive rebound from Bath. No, Dan Flaherty. Great hustle there to retain possession for the Archers. Driving strong. So Minty Walker setting the screen. And the loose handle there for the Archers. Turns the ball over once again. Ill-disciplined. Cardiff met. Here comes Carlos Becker. And from a Bath perspective, they'll just want to continue doing their things. The formula at the moment is working. Aiden O'Flaherty. A beautiful give and go once again. And he hits the and one. 11 seconds left on the clock. He freezes the defence. Gives it. Goes. And finishes off the play with a three-point opportunity coming up. Well, just when it looked like O'Flaherty was met at the rim... It somehow still falls. And that's proving to be the difference early on. It's just working for Bath. And Cardiff Mets seem to be falling in a hole. And Bath thought they were getting that back. They are, in fact, with Carlos Becker. A huge block from Sol Minty Walker and the rebound. Sol Minty Walker is possibly the only player for the Cardiff Met Archers who can be happy with their performance so far. Sol Minty Walker is bringing it. The three, Cardiff Met. That's exactly what they needed if they're going to get spirits and morale going back up again. That's taking it down from a double-digit lead. They're down by just nine now. 34 to 25 in favour of the Gladiators. Here come Bath again. So Minty Walker diving on the floor. Great hustle play. And a huge double-touch layout from Pip Bird. Billy Smallwood kicking it out to the right. Mark Morale. And his fault was just about out of bounds. And that's happened a couple of times now for the Archers. And it is just careless stuff. Absolutely. It's something they need to brush up on if they're to win this game. For sure. A lack of self-awareness. Here it is, Carlos Becker with the answer back three. 
forces a timeout. That's 39 to Bath, 25 for the Mets. Well, this timeout probably essential for the Archers. If they let it slip any further, James Dawes team could be well out of this competition before we even get to halftime. Trailing by 14, and it could have easily been more. Bath have played really, really well here up until this point, and they'll hope to continue. As I mentioned earlier, they seem to have the formula. It seems to be working. They haven't beaten Cardiff Met this season, but it looks very, very likely if things to continue in this fashion. I wonder if it's as simple as our first comment when we saw these two teams. We were surprised to see the Archers go small against such a big, tall Bath side. And it seems as if every time they get in down low, they're met with far, far taller defenders. Well, a 14-point comeback wouldn't be the craziest thing we've seen in Archers Arena this season. We've seen bigger leads fall and crumble. Archers have to avoid the trap here. They manage to keep possession. Dan Flaherty pulling up from mid-range, but it's just got nothing on it. A rare miss for the superstar. Here is Goat Smith from three. Too strong. Mark Morale. Needs to provide a little bit of calm for the Archers here. It's all a bit raggedy, all a bit rushed. Dan Flaherty with the handoff. Smallwood making himself open. Mark Morale. Fake step and drove inside, but he had the wide open three. It's just not happening for Mark Morale here. Still hasn't made a shot. Martin Moreno with a kick out to Carlos Vazquez. A beautiful pocket pass. Back to Vasquez and blocked by Solminzi Walker. By far and away, the best archer today and just can't finish the full court play. Here is Martin Moreno. Hidden Repico. Goat Smith. Repico in trouble. And it's tipped in by none other than Arno Ayerbi. It's Archer's ball. Goldman with the side out restart. Dan Flaherty choosing to instigate offense. Using Mark Morale as a spot up shooter in the three point corner on this right hand side. Flaherty with the ball handling responsibilities. Is Golden. And once again. The rebound safely secured by Bath. A huge drive and a block by Gordon. Foul there called against Bath. I just wonder here if the Archers need to change their ball handler moving up the court. I just wonder if it would be better to have Mark Morale leading the ball up with Dan Flaherty as a shooter instead. Mark Morale has suffered here in the opening two quarters. He hasn't made a shot. It would be interesting just to see if the roles were, re were reversed, if this would work out better for Cardiff Met. Flaherty with a misjudged pass and Goat Smith finishes off the transition bucket. Once again, a turnover by the Met leads to points for the Gladiators. Just under a minute 40 remaining for the Met. The deficit currently 18 points. Here is Smallwood with a wild layup. It just seems rushed. It just seems as if the shots here are being rushed. And it just needs to be a bit more patient on offense. Fantastic defensive play there by Gordon. Referees in discussion about whether that's called as a foul. I think it's fair to say that the Archers have played pretty well defensively. They've picked up after, well, 
conceding a lot of offensive rebounds in the first quarter. It's improved defensively here, but they just need to sharpen up offensively. Here is Dan Flaherty. He has struggled so far this game coming up against Conor Apicky. Tries to go left, forced back wide. Cutting inside, Mark Morale wants to drive again. The scoop layup with the left hand, that's exactly what he needed. Here come Bath once more. Aiden O'Flaherty. It works its way inside. Ayerby to Aiden O'Flaherty. Rapaki can't get it over. Contact, Flaherty with a burst. And Bath get the two points straight back. And once again, it's second chance points. It's points that the Archers thought they weren't gonna concede. Mark Morale will head to the line here. Maybe just getting warmed up into this game. Big layup and now he'll head to the line. Maybe he can drive onwards and kickstart the Mets offense here and out. Listen, it's no secret. If you're to win these type of games, your best players have to perform. Dan Flaherty has been impressive defensively, but he hasn't. He, has, he hasn't been what he would want going forward. Mark Morale has just made his first shot. He's taking free throws here, but he has to improve if the Archers are going to win this game. Sol Minty Walker's brought it, but the rest just need to chip in and play their part. Here come Bath, Aiden O'Flaherty. Forced to pick up his dribble. Rapaki hits Moreno. Moreno with a kick out. The rainbow three is great for Bath and Lewis Cox drills it down. Billy Smallwood driving through traffic. Archers finding it difficult to even pass their own halfway line. Flaherty draws contact. The Mets seemingly now just relying on free throws to stay in the game. Just more of that is what's needed, you know. Bath are defending really, really, really well themselves. So for Dan Flaherty to just draw fouls and just take it play by play, possession by possession. And that's the only way they're gonna edge their way back into this game. You can see from just the color of Dan Flaherty's jersey, how much he's sweating, how hard he's working. Every time there's a stoppage in play, both hands are on his knees. He's got a lot of work to do if the Archers are to come back. And you can tell he's not happy. I mean, look at his body language. He's a winner, Ryan. But we know when Dan Flaherty gets like this, he only improves, he only picks up his game. We can expect that here. And Aiden O'Flaherty oh, puts up the shot just before half time. At the break, it is 48 for the Bath and 29 for Cardiff Met Archers. We're going to throw straight back to the studio with Meg right now. Thank you very much.
Hello and welcome back to Archers Arena. We're just about getting ready for the second half of what is turning out to be a bit of a disappointing game for the Met. Bath have come out all guns blazing and currently lead the Met by 19 points. Ryan, what's gone wrong? Well, it almost feels as if the Archers are still in celebration mode from Sunday. I mean, it has been disappointing. There's been turnover after turnover. The possessions offensively have been rushed. But let's take no, nothing away from Bath. Let's give them their credit. Yeah. They've been bigger. They've been better. And For tactically, sure. Coach Wilburn's got this spot on. Absolutely. They look like a really well-coached, really well-drilled side. The way they've been stealing the ball, jumping at rebounds, crashing the boards. It's really, really good basketball. It's exactly what you want to be watching in these kind of things. It's just a shame that Cardiff Met haven't been able to match them up to this point. Yeah, and I mean, I'll be surprised if there's if it's going to be the same performance in the second half. James Tor took his guys into the locker room. Bath stayed out and, and, and continued to hit shots, continued to practice. But the Archers have literally just returned to the gym. It's going to be interesting to see what happens here. Dan Flatty, headband mode. Headband mode engaged. If you've been watching this Archers men's side all season, when Dan Flaherty takes out his bun, normally that means the game's about to change. <laughs> and in basketball, for those who don't know, headband mode is always different. It's always turning it up a gear. Well, let's see if Dan Flaherty and, and the rest of the guys are going to bring that here. It's, um, it's, it's needed in the second half. I miss those ninja headbands they used to have. Jimmy Butler used they were to good. wear those. They, they were, were good. So cool. It's a shame they were banned. Yeah. Here's Saul Minty Walker, definitely Mets best player so far. Hitting Abrahams. And once again, it's the same story. It's a no Falati punishing the rim, punishing the Met. Here is Billy Smallwood. Dan Flaherty, got to be careful here. Doubled, he's trapped. Can he find the open teammate? Mark Morale from three. Misses everything, but it's Flaherty again. Huge effort play. Siren sounds for the referee's attention. The referees are being forced to check on the rim. Well, I said that Aiden O'Flaherty punished the rim, but it turned out he really did. He shut off the shot clock, pulled the whole rim out of its socket. Well, that's not something I've seen this year at Archers Arena. Well, it's a sign of the times for the Archers to have a guy who's walked into their gym and literally turned the lights out. <laughs> Good outlet pass from Bath. Here's Repiki finding Vasquez. Here's Aiden O'Flaherty. He's feeling it. Drills the three. This man it looks so good. So Minty Walker. Mark Morale pressed. Dan Flaherty with a skip screen. Puts it onto his stronger left hand. Abraham's wide open from the three. And he can't make it count. He can get his own rebound, though. And Mark Morale can recycle. Billy Smallwood out to Saul Minty Walker. And hits the front rim. I just think that was a pass too late. Mark Morale should have kicked it out wide to Saul Minty Walker in the first possession. And the bucket for Bath. Off that. Beautiful, beautiful hustle play. Here's Mark Morale. He's dribbled into trouble once again, and he's lost the ball. His plus minus must be so low. He's cost the Archers so much. So Missy Walker on the other hand. What a steal that was. He's been phenomenal. Defensive acumen to do that. And the foul called. Number nine of Bath, Carlos Becker. Well, uh, Bath just get a little over eager there. Called for the reaching foul. Here is Billy Smallwood. 
trying to go right. Solminsy Walker nails the three from the right hand corner. Here comes Martin Moreno. Aiden O'Flaherty looking for Vasquez off the dribble drive. And he draws contact and he'll head to the line for two. Bath were fantastic from the line in the first half right. That's surely something that the archers have to try and avoid is making contact on these driving lanes. And but and they're just making it so so difficult. Driving with intensity. As we mentioned, they're a bigger bigger team in every way. And it's proving to be really, really difficult for an archers lineup. That that is playing small ball. Well, Vasquez nails the first. The lead is taken to 22 points. My apologies, that's Carlos Becker. Solminty Walker, beautiful, beautiful defensive rebound. Billy Smallwood, once again, just can't dribble through these guys. Cardiff Met can't seem to get any penetration. Smallwood recollects his dribble. Abrahams trying to roll Flaherty. Smallwood, beautiful cut from the Met. And that's taken the lead down to 20 points. And that's too easy. But just like that, <laughs> those two points mean nothing. And Bath started the game phenomenal and has started the second half phenomenally too. Solomon T. Walker taking his teammate on. They've got to swing the ball a bit quicker than this, Matt. And they managed to draw the foul. That was a nice little play that from Billy Smallwood. Finally getting some penetration. The only way the archers are going to cut into this lead, even though we think that all their troubles on the offensive end, is actually through the defense. They've got to stop Bath from scoring in order to go on and run themselves. And Cohen Goddard, when called upon this game, has done well for the archers alongside... So Minty Walker, but Cohen Goddard off the bench has done well. And if he continues to play like that, he'll be hoping to uplift his team just to draw more fouls and, and match Bath's intensity. Well, he makes the most as Goddard. And here comes Marti Moreno. Carlos Vazquez. And he finds his way to Aiden O'Flaherty. Back to Marti Moreno. Turning. Hits O'Flaherty. Carlos Vazquez from three. It's just so easy. That shot was butter. Here's Dan Flaherty. Dan Flaherty, a beautiful pass. Just red. So simple, so easy from Martin Moreno. Billy Smallwood. Finding Abrahams. Here's Goddard. Abraham's trying to spin inside. And he travels. Another turnover. Another mistake on the offensive end. And Bradley Abrahams again isn't happy with the call. And he might be lucky not to get a technical. He looks over to head coach James Dorr for some sympathy. He got none. Is Repico finding Flatty? Velazquez, beautiful bounce pass, well double teamed. Flatty coming to help out his centre. That's a beautiful block. Smallwood drills it on the transition three. Aiden no Flatty has to release the ball because of the pressure, and he steps out of bounds. That's Archer's ball. It feels like it's been a good couple of minutes for the Archers. And then you check the score and realize that the difference is still 20 points. Here's Smallwood. Heading Goddard. Rapico seems to be marking Flatty out of the game. Abrahams with a poor pass at the knees of Smallwood. And it goes out of bounds. Bath ball. And once again, it is frustration from the archers. 
Something that's been the difference here, as we've mentioned, is, is just the amount of international players in this Bath team. You look at their, their two guards in Moreno and Becker, both Spanish. Becker has actually played for Real Madrid. Wow. So it speaks volumes to the level that these guys have played for in, in whatever capacity it's been. But they're bringing experience and they're bringing quality with it too on both ends. Well, the Met have moved into a 2-3 zone, it seems, hoping to channel runners inside and deal with them that way, but it's left open. Shooters for the Bath. Here is Vasquez. Well, that was a bit of a crazy drive. Martin Moreno with complaints about Solmancy Walker's challenge, but a dap at the end, it's all good. Dan Flaherty with his hands on his knees once again. I mean, I might be wrong, but I don't think Dan Flaherty has sat out for one minute in this game. Big block for Minty Walker. Got our beaten way too easily there. Rep it go, herky jerky hesitation. Goldsmith misses everything. But the beautiful layup off the offensive rebound for Bath. Sam Notice, kick ball given Archers. Is Billy Smallwood. Dan Flaherty with a chance to create for himself. Here's Minty Walker. Good handle. Is left to Goddard. And he misses everything. Sam Notice with a good hustle play. Keeping it alive for the Met. And so Minty Walker hits the three, but he can't get it off in time. And it's a 24 second shot clock violation. And it might sound harsh, but it's just not good enough after completely missing everything with the first shot from Goddard. To then get a shot clock violation in a game like this with so much on the line and a deficit that big, it's just not good enough. Well, there's just over four minutes remaining in this third quarter. At the moment, the University of Bath leads 65 to 41. Safe to say that it's a big disappointment for the Met. After two wins against this Bath side in the Bucks competition this year, we were expecting at the very least a competitive game. But Bath have run away with it here at Campus Kinkoid. Beautiful run by Marty Moreno. That first step was so quick. Dan Flaherty up against Repico. He asks for the screen. Can't get the switch. Here comes Goddard. Whistle called. He'll shoot two. Well that first step from Moreno right in front of us Ryan unbelievable to see just that burst of speed and as we mentioned earlier on it's against the tired legs of this Cardiff Met team and it just it's just not gone their way today in any way missed free throws countless turnovers and they're, whether they're you know shot clock violations whether they're stepping out of bounds they've been careless but Bartha played with such an intensity on both ends. And as you mentioned, Dav, they're likely to be runaway winners. Well, the trap defense coming in now for Met. But that's leaving open shooters like Aiden O'Flaherty. And he gives a rare miss, justifying the defensive scheme for the Met. Solomonty Walker driving straight up the pickup drive and just can't quite get the finish. How many times has that happened for the Met today? Behind the back pass, Carlos Vazquez. The rebound by Martin Moreno manages to just knock it out of bounds off of Sam Notice. Well, they say that things come in threes. So after the Met won the NBL Division Three and the Basketball Wales National League, 
You just assumed that today was going to be a Met victory. Bath have knocked the Archers on their behind so far. And Aiden O'Flaherty with a steal on Dan Flaherty. And he misses the dunk. Goldsmith protects his teammate, puts in the offensive rebound and stares down the defensive effort from Sam Notice. But look at the difference in the two teams and their, and their body language and their character. Bath are roaring, Bath are thriving and the Archers look deflated. Well, Archers Arena is packed with both Bath and Archers fans, but the Archers fans haven't had much to shout about since the first quarter. Since the first five minutes, they have been silenced. Lots of miserable, miserable faces. Been long since I heard the beat of a drum. The Archers family falling silent from a disrespectful performance from the Archers. They're now down by 30 points. Talk about body language. Nobody shows how much they're hating this loss more than Dan Flaherty. Here he is. Dan the man. Driving right. That was an easy layup. Well, here is Martin Moreno finding Goldsmith stepping out of bounds off the catch. It's a side out restart for the Met. Here come Dan again. Hoping to drive once more. And he can, and he does. He's successful. And you just feel as if he has to go into takeover mode if, if the archers are even going to make an attempt of a comeback here. Well, there's just over two minutes left in this quarter. And then the Mets have all of the fourth. But it would be an enormous comeback if they were to be able to pull this off. Martin Moreno, a beautiful runner, showing off all his skills. Dan Flaherty has to give up the ball off the pressure. And that's Archer's ball. There's just so much skill in that backcourt for the Gladiators. You look at Moreno, you look at Becker. Flamboyant, lots of flair. Aidan O'Flaherty looks the complete package. And then their forwards and centres, they just provide height, they just provide power. It's a very, very, very solid roster. And the travel there from Sam Notice. The last thing the Archers needed. He's claiming that the first step was in his gather. I don't think it looked like that from our view. Here is Martin Moreno. The handoff. Lost the dribble. Solmenti Walker tried to get the outlet pass, but it's beautiful defensive work by Bath. Vasquez gives it up and the block by Dan Flaherty. He's really trying his best to keep the Met in this. They just haven't been able to do it. Foul called on the floor against Bath there. It just feels as if Dan Flaherty has turned it up a gear now. I'm not sure if it's too little, too late. There's still a quarter to go, but he certainly upped it. And he'll be hoping that that, that levels can that now be reciprocated by his teammates who have been flat so far in this game. The first layup gets a lucky bounce off the rim. One more to go perfectly at the line. The second can't go down. Here comes Martin Moreno again. Involved as always throughout this match. Goldsmith. Back to the Spanish guard. Drew you so much contact there. That was way too obvious from Sam Notice.
blatant foul. Way too easy for the referees. Aiden O'Flaherty looking to create some space and ends up missing everything. I think that's the first mistake I've seen from him all game. And it was great defense from the Archers. More of that, please. Here's Saul Minty Walker. Has to take a step back to go forwards. The quick handle, the release from a high point. That was a beautiful basket by Saul Minty Walker. One of the only archers that can keep his head held high. Goatsmith from three. Answers back from our. And the likes of Goat Smith, he's a role player and he's stepped up massively for Bath here. It's countless players who are, who are doing everything on the court for them. Dan Flaherty can't lose his marker, chooses to drive. Once again, he's successful. The ISO drive for Dan Flaherty right at the end of this quarter. Goat Smith throws it up and that'll be the end. At the moment, it is Bath 77, Cardiff Met 52. One quarter remaining, a 25-point difference between the two teams. Well, Ryan, I don't want to sound defeated, but 25 points to make up in a quarter, just, I can't do the math. It's as good as impossible. It's as good as impossible, and considering Bath are playing this well, it's as good as done but the Archers will definitely be playing for pride here. They've beaten Bath twice this season already, but Bath looks so, so determined. It's easy to see, like I said, in their body language, in their confidence. They really, really want this. Interesting to see just things as simple as this. The end of the third quarter. They only take a couple of seconds to talk with their coach. It's a short message, and they're straight back out in the court in their own huddle talking to each other smiling clapping hands whereas James Dawes got a long long message for the Met boys Dan Flaherty has been successful in the last few minutes of that third quarter with that ISO drive to the right makes you wonder why maybe they didn't go to that a little sooner I think it's fair to say there was a slight improvement in that quarter from the Archers on both ends, but it just wasn't enough. Bath continued, they continued to excel, they were brilliant defensively, and they were extremely efficient offensively. Goat Smith fakes, goes inside, and Dan Flaherty throws forward to Sam Notice. Strong layup, that was a beautiful run and a beautiful finish by Sam Notice. Here is Repiek. Dan Flaherty with a steal. Has to take it straight through the contact. And one for Dan Flaherty. He's not going to let this game slip away. He's not going to let this game tarnish his name. Well, it's the dream start to the fourth quarter for James Dore. Four straight points. And now the chance for another point to be added on with the M1. I think that's a really clever timeout from the Bath head coach. Just when the Archers are coming out, really on fire, bursting, he takes the timeout, cools them down, freezes them in their place. We're starting to get some noise back from the Archers fans here at Archers Arena. It just feels as if a bit of life has been injected back into the fans, back into the players. We mentioned it was as good as an impossible task. Well, the Archers family are definitely all out here at Archers Arena. Dan Flaherty at the line to finish the three-point play. It's been a fantastic little couple of possessions here for Dan Flaherty so efficient over the last four or five minutes here is Martin Moreno looking for Aiden O'Flaherty and he finds him Carlos Vasquez comes out to Martin Moreno once more looked like a carry to me Carlos Vasquez trying to dump it inside 
And it's Bath ball. So the archers confused on that play. Martin Moreno. It comes out and it's a he from Bath. Dan Flaherty wants to get into his dribble drive again. So Minty Walker. Archers have got to swing it round again. Trying to find Dan. It's just too obvious from the Archers. So Minty Walker shoots it straight over the smaller guard. So by name, so by nature for this team. So Minty Walker continues to bring it. The deficit is being trimmed. Well, technically you're right, Ryan, but that deficit has been trimmed to 17 points. That's a big call by the referee. Aiden O'Flaherty with the travel there as he spinned inside. And Cardiff Met just need to keep their call here, take it possession by possession. No need to rush shots. Unless you're Dan Flaherty, you can rush whatever you like. Took the mid-range pull-up really early in that possession. Here's Moreno finding Repiek. Martin Moreno once more. Uses the screen. Pulls up from the elbow. Drills the mid-range J. That was needed. That was needed just to sting the Archers' momentum that they've been building here in the fourth quarter. A massive shot by Moreno. Dan Flaherty sizes up his man, pulls up from three. He gets like this, he gets like this. I don't think he's missed in the last eight minutes of play. Heat check, Dan Flaherty. Headband mode engaged. And a big miss for Bath. Dan Flaherty's calling for the ball. It's got to be him on the ball. The Archers have taken this from a 30-point deficit to just 14. And for the first time, Dav, there's an ounce of frustration in this Bath team. For the first time all game, they're not having their own way and the Archers are fighting. Sam Notice at the line. The score currently 79 to 65. Just under seven and a half minutes remaining. If these two free throws go down, the Archers could genuinely be in with a chance of overturning a 30-point deficit in this game. Here come Bath. A huge steal from Dan Flaherty. And the layup is good. I might have to stand. <laughs> Martin Moreno driving inside. Velasquez with a turn. And so Mitty Walker with the screen. And it's foul called against Carlos Vasquez. That should be a transition take foul. And both call a timeout. A huge overcoming of fears and pressure from the Archers in this quarter has changed the outlook of this game. The Archers are leading Bath by 15 points in this quarter. This is incredible. We said it was a 25 point deficit going into the final 10 minutes. We said as good as mission impossible, but this is absolutely incredible. Dan Flaherty has taken over Archer's arena in the last five to six minutes. Unbelievable play by him. He hasn't missed a shot in a long time. I don't think he's missed a minute. I don't think he's sat out. Yes. Dan Flaherty has not stopped. He's played every minute. Well... Just when you think that you can count out the archers, they draw you back in. And as you mentioned, that frustration, coach Antonio Wilburn, discussions with the referee, he's not happy. And Bath are beginning to wilt. 
Seven minutes and four seconds on the clock. Plenty of time to turn over 10 points. To put that in context, they've come back in a 15 point, they've led Bath by 15 points. And that's just in three minutes of this quarter. Unbelievable. So Minty Walker misses the first. That's not his first missed free throw of the night. He's missed a few, but he has played out of his skin tonight. The second from Sol Minty Walker. Misses. Trouble from the line, but the Archers still have possession. Really important to remember that. It was a transition take foul, so they get free throws and the ball. Dan Flaherty with all the instructions. They hit him. They converge all five on Dan Flaherty. He just needed to release the pass, but maybe just couldn't trust his teammates there. Here's Martin Moreno. Finding Repiek. Aiden O'Flaherty on the right-hand side. Goat Smith, foot on the line. That's Archer's ball. And it just seems as if those roles have reversed. The Archers are now having everything their own way and the Gladiators are making mistakes. Dan Flaherty taking a well-deserved deep breath as he goes up the court. Steps back. Pulls up from range. Just a bit too strong. Great hustle. Referee calls the foul against Dan Flaherty. And it just feels as if those last two shots were very slightly rushed. It's important to keep your call in a situation like this. Although the temperature is increasing here in Archer's Arena. Aiden Flaherty. Beautiful pocket pass. And Carlos Vazquez goes to the line. He'll get two free throws. So bad. Well, it'll be interesting here. Carlos Vazquez. He's been perfect from the line tonight. Six minutes and 17 seconds left on the clock. The Archers fans managed to psych the first miss from the line. For, for Becker. He bounce leads him to a one for two trip to the line. A deep breath was taken there in Archer's Arena. The three from the left hand side. Can't go. Sam Notice tries to dive on the ball. And that might be a huge miss. Here's Aidan O'Flaherty. Martin Moreno. Back to Flaherty. Hits Becker. And it's a huge miss. But Bath couldn't quite get the offensive rebound. Met need to support Sol Mitty Walker here. It's a huge three. And they can't quite nail it. And so Minty Walker just lost his foot in there. A crucial moment. Travel by Goatsmith. Archer's ball. That's fantastic pressure from Sam Notice. Mark Morrell checking in. It's important to mention here, Mark Morrell hasn't had his best game, but he can really, really turn it on. A massive player in this Archers team. Finds Minty Walker from the corner. Here is Martin Moreno. It's in Repiek and back to him. He tries to go left. Mark Morrell with a huge steal. Takes the contact. Ball out, Archer's ball. Mark Morrell was looking for the foul on that shot. 
He was able to draw the contact. Still the deficit remains, 11 points. Dan Flaherty steps through the ball! Dan the man Flaherty brings the archers within nine. And that is the first bucket that's been made in nearly two minutes. But the archers have also defended incredibly well, just conceded one free throw in that space of time. Martin Moreno calling for support. Carlos Becker from three misses everything. If ever the archers were gonna come back into the game, it would be right now. Dan Flaherty seems to need to have the ball for the Met to score. I'm standing. Dan Flaherty loses the ball. A poor handle and Sol Minty Walker gives away the foul. It's Bath ball. That's a big turnover. Dan Flaherty has played every minute of this game. What a commitment. Martin Moreno screaming out instructions. Ain't no Flaherty. Moreno spinning inside. Gets his own rebound. Sol Minty Walker fouls him underneath the basket. You just thought for a minute there that Sol Minty Walker was going to come out with the ball. This is incredible. This is one of the best games I've seen all year. Dan Flaherty's got some questions for the officials. It's not going to make any difference. Four minutes and 25 seconds for the archers to turn this around. Martin Moreno at the line. Nails the first. And you can just see the relief there from Moreno. Bath have had a very poor fourth quarter. Moreno does not make a mistake. Dan Flaherty on the ball. Has to release it to Abrahams. The three once again missing. Every time the archers take a three ball early in the shot clock, it seems to go the way of the Bath Gladiators. Here's Coach Smith. Missing. Archers need to work a shot for Dan Flaherty. They brought the ball. Handler, Mark Morale on. He needs to help them out here. It's Sam Notice. Drew contact, no whistle. Referees missed one there, that's for sure. Ain't no flatty. And the pull up mid range is way, way, way short. Just under three and a half minutes remaining. The archers have to do it now it's do or die and Mark Moral Mark Moral draws a foul I thought he'd stepped out of bounds but referee calls it for a foul against Bath Dan Flaherty shows goes drives he hits it how sweet was that with the left hand Dan Flaherty's not done yet he's brought it back down to nine here's Aiden O'Flaherty Repiek here's Martin Moreno Sam Notice with some great defence Referee gives it as a blocking foul. Well, it's clear there that Sam Notice was trying to draw the charge. Referee seems to think that he didn't have his feet in a set position. Two shots at the line. 
for Carlos Becker. Nine points the difference once again. The Archers have brought it back so close. They have just under three minutes if they are to finish the job. No matter what happens from here, no one can question the heart of this team that could still do what we thought was impossible. Ten points. The second misses. It's a 10 point game. Here is Smallwood. Good communication from Dan Flaherty. Mark Morrell pops, goes, and he'll head to the line for two shots. Well, if Mark Morrell can nail both of these, he'll take it to an eight point game. It's been a long time since the lead was just eight points. Mark Manal hits the front iron. The second he nails. We're back to nine. A steal here for the Archers would be enormous. Aiden O'Flaherty. A beautiful jelly finish. Smallwood hits Flaherty. Smallwood. Dan Flaherty was wide open. He turned it down for a Bradley Abrahams three. I don't think this game tells you that that's the right decision there. Here is Aiden O'Flaherty. Carlos Becker. O'Flaherty. Huge rebound. Good defense from Bradley Abrams. Under two minutes. Dan Flaherty from three. Too strong. That's Archer's ball. But with just 95 seconds left, it might be too little, too late for the Archers. And you expect Bath here to just really take their time. Just shave that clock down as much as they can. Regardless, the lead looks strong enough. It is O'Flaherty falling away. And once again, a terrible effort on the defensive class. And Martin Moreno will head to the line once again. And these free throws might be the dagger that puts the Met out of this game. The first is perfect, nothing but net. The second. He nails it. It is a 13 point deficit. A minute 17 remaining. Now this would be impossible. Yeah. Well, we thought it was impossible going into the fourth quarter when the deficit was 30. You've got to give so much credit to these archers. Brought it all the way back to nine. We all believed it. We were all on our feet. I really thought it was going to happen. Well, Cardiff Met started this fourth quarter electric. And it just seems since about that fifth or sixth minute, Bath just something clicked with them again. And defensively, they put together some important stops and free throw by free throw. They built that lead just very, very slightly up. And now it should be enough with a minute seven left. 
seemed as if there was a couple of possessions where the Archers took some silly threes where Dan Fatty didn't really touch the ball that much at all but at the end of the day it won't be because of their second half performance it'll be because of the first half that they've lost this game they've been fantastic here in the late game Bradley Abrahams with the sideline restart. Dan Flaherty from three. A miss. Sam Notice with the offensive rebound and he'll head to the line. The effort from Sam Notice. He's coming off the bench and he's been fantastic. I've got to say, really impressed with his hustle, his energy, always putting his 100% into every possession. Well, in that first half, you know, we, we spoke about Dan Flaherty. We spoke about Sol Minty Walker. And we did question some of these other guys on the team, some of the role players, some of the extra starters. As you mentioned, Sam Notice has been excellent in this second half. His grit and determination has not gone unnoticed. I see what you did there. One from two. The deficit 12. Aiden O'Flaherty fouled. Clear and obvious to everyone here. If they make this, it's 14 points. Am I stupid for even asking the question? This will kill the game, right? And it has. Yeah. And it has. As I mentioned there a second ago, it's free throw by free throw. The Gladiators have done really well to draw fouls late on. One last time out for James Dorr. I say the game is over, but if Dan Flaherty scores a three after this restart, I'll be a believer once again. But it won't happen. 14 points. It's too much in a minute. Metaphor gallantly throughout this fourth quarter. And unfortunately, it'll still look like a big loss because of the last couple of minutes. But there were times when this one was so close here. The lead came down to eight. They made up 22 points from a 30-point lead to just eight. And that in itself is an incredible achievement. One that James Dorr will be very, very proud of. His side have showed immense character here in the fourth quarter when it almost seemed like they had nothing to play for. The game now is as good as done. But as we say, the character cannot go. It cannot be undermined. You just got to wonder. The game is 14 points. How much of an impact it made to have Mark Morale playing one of his worst games I've seen this year. If he was on fine form, how many points is that worth? Well, I'm sure it's enough to make up the deficit. As we mentioned, Mark Morrell has struggled in this game. Sam Notice at the line again. And it's almost as if Sam Notice will not take no for an answer. He's still trying, he's still believing, even as, as the seconds unwind. He nails the first. The second. Perfect. Sam Notice, all the way up the court, fouls, Aiden no O'Flaherty. The Mets choosing to stop the clock, accept the free throws. A necessary foul made, but it goes without saying, Aidan O'Flaherty is not the man you want at the line, Dav. No, he's been fantastic throughout.
Well, fair play to these Archers fans. They have really had the atmosphere going here. Here is Smallwood. Beautiful pass. Sam Notice under the basket. Just about keeps hold of it. Abrahams has to let go early. Drills it from three. 44 seconds on the clock. 11 points the difference. The Archers are going to fight until the last second here. Aiden O'Flaherty. Martin Moreno. Bath just toying with the Archers here. Baiting them into taking the easy foul. That stops the clock. And I'm not sure why Cardiff Met took so long to make that foul. They made the necessary foul in the possession before, hit a free, and then took their time making that foul there to send the Gladiators to the line. Well, Martin Moreno taking a bench seat for Bath. He has been involved in absolutely everything they've done on the offensive end. A well-deserved rest. And interestingly, on comes De Cardozo, who's actually the captain of the second team. He was one of those few players that was introduced into this game from the second unit. Aiden O'Flaherty's pass is intercepted. Smallwood takes the early three. Misses. Foul called once again on Smallwood. 14 seconds left in this. Rule Ryan. The game is officially over. 12 points the deficit right now. It could increase by a few, decrease by a few, who knows. But this game is well and truly won by Bath. Archers lost this in the first half, don't you think? Absolutely. As we mentioned, the first half performance just, just lacked intensity on both ends. The Archers seemed flat, they seemed fatigued. The second half performance, the third quarter they come out pretty level with Bath, but the fourth quarter, that first three minutes, they were explosive. And they made us all believe, Dav. <sighs> I don't even know how I feel anymore. All I know is Dan Flaherty has impressed me once again. Even when you thought that maybe he wasn't having the most impressive game, he just finds a way to pull you out of the hole, pull Cardiff Met together, and draw them back into the game. He's a one-man offense. He can do it all by himself. Dan Flaherty has gears. One for two for the line for Bath. Mark Morale fouled. Big claps from the bench so that they can make a substitute. That's the reasoning. An interesting picture here as we progress towards the end of Dan Flaherty's time here at Cardiff Met. Alone in the backcourt. A head full of, I'm sure, considerations, questions, and very little consolidation. Eight seconds on the clock. Mark Morrell makes both. And the Mets are going to let them run this one out. And the final buzzer sounds around Archer's Arena. What has been a fantastic basketball showdown here has provided such entertainment for all of us here at Archer's Arena, all of us here at King Coy Campus, and hopefully all of you at home. Ryan, what's your biggest takeaway from that? The Archers have grit. The Archers have character. Like I said, in that fourth quarter, they really, really made us believe. And as you can see here, the applause to those fans. They never gave up. They never stopped singing. It was a disappointing start to the game. It was a disappointing first half. But they really, really showed up in that fourth quarter and very nearly did the impossible. It was really interesting to see the different players different perspectives on the game. Saul Minty Walker with his hustle and effort and energy and then Dan Flaherty with his killer instincts towards the end, drawing the Archers back into the game. If they could play another half 
I'm sure they would end up winning. And I'm sure it would have made a difference to the mentality of well, as well of these players. It almost seemed as if as that clock just was shaven down and it, and it closed down towards the end of the game. It just seemed as if they just lost a little bit of belief, a couple of missed shots, a couple of failed possessions. But take nothing away from Bath. They were excellent from start to finish. Although the Archers got better, they never, never, never got worse in the game. They stayed with Cardiff in the dying stages and got the job done. Well, it's been a fantastic game here. It's been a fantastic day here to be with you at Cardiff Met Sport TV for Varsity 2023. My name is David Jones. I've been with Ryan Bellany. We're going to say goodbye and send back to Meg in the studio. Thank you very much.